Hey, it's been a little while since my last update. And for those of you who do not personally know me, I picked up a couple additional rental houses that have been competing for my time in addition to work. So uh, it's kind of uh, hard to find time to dedicate it to the 123 right now. Uh, that will change a little later on. But anyhow, I wanted to show you where I'm at. So uh, starting to put things back together. You can see uh, some new rubber elements there. Some have just been cleaned up and repurposed. And uh, brakes are in, they're bled, the wiring is run, still need to pin that up. I cannot figure out what size fender bolt that is. It looks like it's an M6, uh, these fender bolts here. But uh, it looks like a 1.75 thread pitch, and I cannot find any nuts uh, to put on this bolt so I can uh, attach that wire loom on the back side. So that's... Uh, an annoyance right now. I will get that problem solved though. Anyhow, we are almost ready to receive this engine at this point. Let me show you what's going on on the inside. Uh, you can see I'm starting to get the dash in. It's just sitting there right now. It is not bolted down. Um, I really just wanted to do another double check for the AC and clearance. Um, here are the new LG1 Corbo seats. So you can see that they they're nice, they're comfortable, and uh, I think they fit in here pretty good. Now, Corbeau does make a seat mount for this, so it was simple bolt-in operation. I did get the double sliders, and again, very happy with these seats. So everything's pretty much blacked out. Uh, once the dash is permanently mounted, I'll go ahead and put the A-pillars back in. Um, but we're coming along on the interior as well, trying to work that in parallel. And of course, here's the engine. Uh, I show this in prior video, but it is getting lonely. It needs some pistons to keep it company. So with that, let me, let's go inside and check out the score of the day. I received the head and the in engine internal parts back from the machinist today. Uh, Brooks Elliott did the machining on this uh, head and some of the other work on the engine. Uh, really, it's a, it's a specialist uh, company that just deals in cylinder heads. Um, and I think he did a pretty good job. If we come in here, he, he did uh, go ahead and port out the exhaust ports. I had some scratches, um, and he went ahead and uh, milled this just a little bit to get that all cleaned up for me. Totally took everything apart, of course. Uh, springs, the new springs are in. Uh, those are from F-Tune. Again, everything new and cleaned up. Now I thought, I didn't even look, I thought the rods were, uh, were pressed on the pins, but uh, they're wrist pins, and uh, he went ahead and swapped these out for me as well. I might have been able to, to do that myself, but like I said, I didn't even consider it, and I got enough other things to do. Uh, all the other small parts are all, all cleaned up. And um, now, I don't have a drill press, and uh, Brooks Elliott is a shop specializing, specializing in cylinder heads, uh, so he did not want to touch the cam gear, and that's one thing uh, I want to do before I assemble the long block. I want to go ahead and get a set screw uh, put in, in the cam gear. Uh, my understanding is that can be an issue, so it'd be worthwhile to go ahead and just do that while, while the engine's apart, but I'll, I'll seek out a regular machine shop to go ahead and do that. So. As I put this engine together over the next uh, week or two, I'll try to shoot some videos. Uh, hopefully you guys can learn from my successes or my failures. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.